hey vikings welcome back to my channel so today we're going to just do a quick video we're going to be talking about the guard of war since we can now upgrade the guard of war and how expensive it actually is because that is crazily expensive so just to get to level seven obviously you got to earn four billion soul shards or buy them from the bank basically but it will cost two thousand runic stones just to get to level seven and obviously the percentages for that are not massive now as obviously as you go along they get a lot bigger percentages but like seven percent and eight percent to start with is a bit too expensive but i'm not saying i'll never do it i will tell you my plan for that but let's go like for example look at guard of prosperity it would cost 500 runic stones for the first level so yeah it is a lot more expensive to do the guard of war but let's go take a quick look at you know the costs of each level and the percentages you will gain so let's go have a quick look at that so here we go so we have it will cost 2000 runic stones for the first level and obviously like you said 8% 7% but then you get over double the percentage on the next level which i believe was might be spending gold or something but it will cost 2800 runic stones for that so as you can see the percentages go up quite nicely so 20 percent 24 percent 31 percent 39 percent all the way but as you can see when you get to like level 15 you're looking at 12,000 runic stones now i mean it costs uh 50 million runic coins to get 10,000 runic stones and for me the bank offers are not they're not there yet they're not good enough to even tempt me to say I'll buy some runic stones from the bank maybe buy the first pack because it's like 4.99 or whatever it is but that would be it that would be my limit so obviously these are good bonuses they are really good bonuses but the price is just crazy thankfully though i will i will say thankfully the soul shards are not too bad so 500,000 soul shards for the first level 608,000 for the next level all the way down to level 15 is 3 million so it's a lot better in that sense compared to like guard of defense the asgard one that we're doing which is crazily expensive for soul shards as well as runic stones but no um, not runic stones, the Asgard stones. But in this case, runic stones is just, yeah, it's crazy. I can't justify myself doing this all the way to 15. But I have looked at, like, for example, uh, the requirements. So uh, I think at level 10 and level 12, you have to um, earn 3 billion soul shards from towns. Nobody likes doing that, especially these days with new onslaught boosts everybody has just made crazy amount of walls so it actually is a lot harder to earn soul shards in in um, towns so for me i will get it to the first checkpoint um the first requirements for town shards after that i don't care i'm not rushing it so i'll get it to level 9 level 10 whichever it is so my bonuses will go up an okay amount for what I'm needing but I'm not gonna rush the town shard bit because it's so expensive anyway and town shards are just a little too hard to come by lately so yeah guys I just thought I'd bring this out uh, let me know your opinion on guard of war in the comment section are you going to do what I'm doing get up level it up until you've got to earn those soul shards from towns or are you going to just screw it off upgrade everything else because it's a lot cheaper or are you just not doing anything <laughs> let me know in the comment section and i'll see you all next time see ya